Today on Blog Success Journal, we're talking about our three favorite keyword research tools. So what is a keyword tool? Basically, it's an online application that allows you to research and identify the best keywords to target on your blog or a post that you're making on your blog so that you're not just guessing and hoping someone will show up to read them. You want to target specific words. Yeah, and that may sound a little technical, but it's so worth it. Do that in the beginning. Do it, do it, mm -hmm. do it. It's totally important and it's really not hard. Okay, so let's talk about the first one, the Google AdWords keyword tool. Uh, it's very straightforward. It's a simple interface, it's easy to use, and it's free. Can't beat that. You just got to make an AdWords account. It's simple. A very easy interface uh, and a really cool tool it's got. You can actually find words by, by website. Mm -hmm. You can actually put in any, any website you want in this tool, and it'll tell you, uh, like a competitor's website, what keywords they're focusing on, and your website, what you're focusing on. So that's a very neat feature. Mm -hmm. And you can download all your keywords that you come up with in all your research into a spreadsheet, which is also great. Yeah, that way you don't lose it. And lose all that hard work you've done. Yeah. Okay, there's a few things we don't like about this tool. One of them being that you have to create a full-blown AdWords account and you have to log in every time you use the tool. So if you don't want an AdWords account, that can be a little inconvenient. Yeah. And also, the keywords it recommends are more short phrases rather than like the long tail keywords. And just from our experience, you get just as much traffic from those long tail keywords as you do the short phrases. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and the next one is Word Tracker. This one's been around forever. This is the one that people have known for the keyword research for PPC, for SEO, whatever. It's been around for a while. They have a one week free trial for the full blown thing. You can test it, whatever. Or if you're really smart, you'll get a lot of your research done in that one week. And now, and then for, a, for a, the full rate, you'll get to keep it ongoing. Um, it gives you a lot more of those long tail keywords that mm -hmm. Jennifer was talking about, even those more obscure keywords. And if you're willing to invest the time, you, those can really pay off. Yeah, it's got a lot, a lot of really cool features, but that can be overwhelming. You know, for if you're a beginner getting into keyword research and you see all this, you're like, oh my gosh, I can never do this. Okay, so it can be a little overwhelming, and it's quite expensive. I think it's like almost 70 a month, maybe just under 400 a year. So it's not a cheap tool. And here's the thing, the data is compiled from Dogpile and Metacrawler instead of Google. So if you're trying to rank well in Google, the data you get back may not be quite as accurate, but I really don't think that's a big deal. Yeah. Now, there's another tool that we actually like a lot that we actually use ourselves all the time. I'm always in this thing. It's my favorite. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, the SEO book tool. And to go check this out, go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash SEO book. Um, it's free. Yes, you got to make a login. Big deal. Anyway, it's free. Whoop, whoop. But what I love about it, the reason I'm always in there is because it show, when I put in a keyword, it shows me what the searches are per day from Google, Yahoo, MSN. It shows you all the search engines and the total per day. So this gives you a real perspective of what people are searching for across the search engines. So that's a really, really valuable thing. Best of both worlds as far as I'm concerned. And they also have a cool toolbar you can install. So it, gives you all this SEO yeah, stuff Yeah, you just have a little button at the top if you want to research a keyword. Now, like Dan said, it gives you the results across all the search engines, but the way it's presented can be a little confusing because it's in different columns for each search engine. Look, we just look at the total number of searches, okay? That's really all you care about. that's what I want to know. How many people search yeah. for this every day? And that, while good. it presents it in kind of a confusing way, it's still more basic than Word Tracker. So if you really want the, the full end all, be all, Word Tracker is probably the best one, but you know what? SEO book works for us. Yeah, find something that works for you and do it, you know? And don't forget, go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash hostgator and start your own blog today for just a penny. You've got no excuse not to have your own blog in like 10 minutes from now.